Good morning, my friends. It is Sunday, August 30th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun, Kate. And I do have my cat here, but she is, um, I think she's lounging. Yes. Taking a bath. Say hello. <laughs> and I have with me the things that help me pray. St. Francis. Jesus, Jesus, and Mary and the baby. In today's worship, we have some beautiful scripture from the book of Exodus, where Moses is tending his sheep on Mount Horeb or Mount Sinai, and he sees something he sees a bush that is being consumed by fire and Moses decides to let his busy life and his job and his sheep who could walk off cliffs, he lets them all go and he turns aside and focuses on what God is doing. And because he turned aside, the place where he encounters God is called sacred ground. God says, take off your shoes. This is sacred ground. And God has a conversation with Moses. If Moses hadn't turned aside from all the preoccupations of his life, valid preoccupations, the Exodus would never have happened. Our salvation history would not be what it is today. It was that simple act of a man focusing some of his time and attention on God, not on his job, not on his relatives, not on the sheep, but just on God. And in that encounter, Moses sets aside a place to meet God, a sacred place, a sacred space. I rented a house here on Park Street and it's got four bedrooms. It's kind of silly because my three sons are mostly gone. Only my youngest really lives with me all the time and half the time he's with his dad. And yet I want to have a space for each of my boys. I want them to have a room here to know that they have a home. They have a place in my heart and in my home. I want you to consider today what it means to have a place, a physical place for God in your life. Where is that space? Where do you encounter God? Believe it or not, putting aside a physical space is important. Sacred place. Let us pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks for this good day. We give you thanks for the first day of the week and a chance to start anew with worship. We ask you to bless us this week. Comfort those who are ill. Bless the dying, Lord Christ. Be with our medical workers, our teachers, and all those who go constantly to work amidst other people. Help us to learn to be cautious and careful to wear our masks and sanitize our hands. Find us a vaccine, O Lord, that this planet may be healed of this virus and we may emerge wiser. This we ask in the name of Jesus, your son. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.